before we get started, click that subscribe button. Okay, so what are we gonna need? We're gonna need some stuffing. We're gonna need some cafe latte color. We're gonna need some Aran, which is like a beige color. Um, we're gonna need a keychain, key ring. We're gonna need scissors and a three millimeter crochet hook. So let's get started. Oh, and I forgot a stitch marker. So first things first, we're gonna start with a magic loop. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you could look that up really quick, but basically I'm just chain, doing a chain too. Now we're gonna be doing the first round, which is six single crochets in the first chain. Your second round is going to be doing two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. Now for our third round, we're gonna be repeating two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. So we repeat that pattern around. Now would be a perfect time to pull that thread there in the middle. Now for our fourth round, we're gonna be working in the back loops and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we're gonna do it evenly all the way around. As you can see, I am terrible with using my stitch marker. Sometimes you forget. Um, but this round is very easy because you could tell where you started and where you ended. But um, just don't forget to use your stitch marker. At the end here, you could tell it starts to cup and that's good. Between rounds five through 14, we're gonna be working single crochet evenly, but in both loops. Now we're going to be working on the whipped cream top. Um, and this is the point where we change our yarn to white. Um, people, Some people do it differently, um, but this is the way I do it. Um, you're more than welcome to follow this particular pattern. Now for this round 15, we're gonna be doing two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches. And we're gonna be doing that in the back loops. And we're gonna be working in the back loops from now all the way to the end. Repeat that pattern all the way around. Now making sure that we're working in the back loops for round 16 and 17, we're gonna be single crochet evenly all the way around. Make sure to stuff as you go. Again in the back loops, 
for round 18, we're going to be doing a pattern of single crochet decrease over the next two stitches and then we're going to be single crocheting in the next two stitches after that. So we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around in the back loops. Now round number 19, we're going to be doing a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to repeat that all the way around, of course in the back loops. So for round number 20 in the back loops, we're going to be single crochet decrease over the next two stitches and we're going to repeat that all the way around. It's kind of tough at this point because it's such a small opening, but I'm quite sure you guys can do it. I have faith in you. At this point you could just cut the yarn and you're going to end it with a slip stitch. Now here's the fun part in my opinion. Put some more yarn on your hook here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working in the front loops of the rounds that we just did, 15 through 20. But we're going to start in that very last one we just did. So you're going to attach your yarn right there. You see how all the bumps line up there? Well, we're going to attach ourselves to that top one there. And we're going to start right there. And we're going to be doing just an even single crochet all the way around and it will start to swirl. I promise you it will work out. For some of you this might feel a little weird but it actually is quite easy. It has the little loops that you could just grab and just keep crocheting all the way around. Now you can just end it with a slip stitch. And of course I forgot a needle. Seems like something I would do. Um, all you have to do now at this point is sew in your ends. Now at this point you're more than welcome to end it there and just put your little keychain ring on and just put on your keys and go, but uh, of course I gotta be extra. 
So I got my handy dandy computer out with my handy dandy Photoshop and my handy dandy eraser tool. I downloaded a Starbucks file, don't tell anybody, and then I started erasing things, not with a rag, but with an eraser tool, and yay! So I cut out a file in my Cricut machine and made a little sticker that says Martian Latte, and I stuck it on there, and yay, again. So my husband just happened to be at Starbucks because I forgot this particular part that we need a nice, cute little green straw. I said, hey, honey, can you give me a green straw? He's like, why do you need a green straw? And then he was like, never mind. I don't understand why I ask you these things. So you just take that and cut it. Okay, really? So you just take it and you cut it so that it looks like a cute little tiny straw. I wanted to make a little point on it so it makes it easier for me to attach it to this thing. So I'm taking my crochet hook here and I'm making a little hole and moving the stuff inside around so that I could stick the straw in there. And from that point, you really don't need to do anything special. It sticks in there, it just stays in there. The filling actually grabs it up and it sticks in there. Mine has yet to fall out. But you're more than welcome to stick some glue on there to keep it from falling out if you think it's gonna fall out. Now we're gonna sew the keychain on, just get some scrap yarn you have lying around, I'm sure you have a bunch of it, and just start sewing it on there. Isn't it cute? I hope you guys are able to make your own. In the meantime, I would like to thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. And thank you so much for crocheting with me.